What is up, you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we are at the mall, and we are gonna be looking at new contemporary handbags that are at the mall. Um, I have not done like a walk with me through the mall, like I think in over like, it's been a while. Uh, let's just put it at that. I've been like little like TJ Maxx and stuff, but like to go to the mall and do one, I have not done it in a while. I was gonna go to like Neiman Sachs and Nordstrom, but I feel like I'll do that one for another like later on in june but today we are at the mall where they just have like a macy's and a dillard's and so i feel like this would be a little bit better um right now i have a package to ship from poshmark i have been listening to stuff on poshmark my poshmark is listed on most of my videos it's in the description box so i have to ship that out i'm like putting like a sweater to like cover it um my outfit is like literally all black with like denim and then i'm wearing my bottega veneta and now there's like a person in front of me backing out and they probably think I'm weird, but you know, that's the life of social media. That's the life that just comes with it. But I wasn't doing what's my back, but I'm gonna wait for this person to back up, but probably someone else is gonna back up now. But yeah, let's go ahead and go in and see what they have. And I'll talk to you guys in the store and I'll do what's my back probably like later, probably when I go to the post office. And I probably do wanna get um, a bite to eat. I, I've been really good on posting videos those last few days. So I do have other videos. If you do, if you, you guys do wanna check it out, they've been a little bit more consistent. I'm posting a little bit more on TikTok. I feel like I'm finally, back and there's so much videos so much content to be to be made and so much that has already been posted so if you guys could just watch some of it i would definitely appreciate it it makes me more motivated to post more videos and i'll talk to you guys in the store okay so these shoes are on sale for 90 i know 99 I, I want to see if they fit just through the width just because so these are from the row but these are not my size but i could just tell by the como entran they're gonna fit but aren't they so cute because they're going to go with my uh, ivory pillow tabby. Well, these are a little bit more white, but from the bottom of the shoe to the bag, you won't be able to notice. But I think that they're so cute. I do love like a little bit of a platform sample. These are so cute. I love these. I'm going to link these down below. But one of the main reasons is I want to look at some of the contemporary shoes. But these are definitely, I love. They're nice and soft, but they do scratch easily. But they are really cute. I also saw these ones. These are cute too. These are very like Valentino. They're two seventy five. They're one sixty five on sale. Super cute. And oh, these are the ones that I put in my video too. These have a good weight to them. The Leia. These are a great alternative from from like a Prada loafer style. But I think this year they did some really good shoes. I did want to highlight them. Look how pretty they are with the C. It's kind of hectic in here for a Wednesday. But these fit super narrow. I can tell that these are definitely like not white feet friendly. Like look how narrow that is. But I think 185 they're not a bad price. Gladiators, I'm not a big fan of gladiators. They do have these, which I do like too. These are 195, they come in the white. They have the pink ones. They these come in pink. That pink um online. They just don't have them here. They have them in black. And then they have these ones. And then yeah, and then another pink ones. But they're a little bit different. That one has like black lining and these are more like puffy. But I definitely do like those a lot. These are super cute. Out of the table, these are the ones that definitely pop up. What do you guys think about these? I think these are really, really nice. Little sparkly, like shiny moments, this metallic, and then this kind of crystal moment I like. This is very summer. I think you could do definitely do a metallic bag um, this season. And I like how this has like the chain on it too. They definitely do have like a lot of stuff, but I mean, the shoe department is kind of popping for a Wednesday. Tilt moment and fabric. I think these are 400. Oh, there's the Macy's Backstage 358. And then these in here. I have this in like a yellow mustard color. And these are the reissues which are super cute. Definitely would do more of a smaller one. I love the little studded moment. Definitely with like a blue button up, like a striped one. Hi. Hello. This is super cute. They actually say, ask her to show you what you're for. These two are cute too. Fun Kate Spade. I do like all the fixtures. Like this looks very 
posture polish. I do like that. They have like a lot of basic black. I feel like when it comes to Kate Spade, if I'm buying full price, I definitely would want it to be like a pop-up color. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want it to be like a black bag. I feel like I can go to that. Like something like that with the bow is something that I would get. Like all this, I can definitely get somewhere else. This one's cute though. Hey, what this black and white one I like. See, like a simple bag, but that has a little bit. This is three ninety eight. This is super cute. This is kind of like a towel material, like a juicy couture velour. They have it in a Boston bag. That's cute. I do like that a lot. And then these moon bag styles. So they're two ninety eight. These are more of the like the Samri issue. This is nylon. They want 248 for these. I like the green. I like the pop of color. See a black one, like this is an interesting one. Because you won't find that in the outfit. Cute. This Tiffany blue. Oh, I love this one. I'm so happy they did the casting more colors. That one I like. That's very simple. Oh, I have not seen this style. $400. Very soft glove and tan leather. This is very cute. This is the bag that I'm talking about to go with my sandals. Those, well not my sandals, but soon to be sandals. I love this. I love the pinks and that technique blue. Super cute. And then they have a little bit of a denim on there. I didn't know if there was a Macy's backstage here. Oh, so yummy. I love my favorite summer handbags. This one, and I think it's so cute, especially with the little Rochetta leather detail some summer brahmin moments this small memorial mall they actually have cute stuff as you can see blue is a very trending color like this tiffany blue i love me a good brahmin moment that green is cute but i don't really like the pink on it they definitely have like a lot of handbags on sale lots and lots they have some pretty rough flooring ones this is cute very i think these are really good bags this one's cute this like duffel this large bag it's on sale 200 bucks that's really not that bad for the size of it this one's really cute i like that it has very minimal branding on it it looks something like from alaya gorgeous and has another colors too I did see these online toy birch has a version of these too these uh bucket bags i think that they're so cute what do you guys think? I, I really like the pink. I'm not a pink person, but I like that it's a little bit of a lighter shell pink. Um, that's really pretty. I made my way to the Macy's backstage. I don't even know this location had one. Some Radley for 40. I love it because of the little dogs. This Gucci bag here. Some Valentino that I wouldn't recommend. Oh my God, they have a Pinko for 350. A Ferragamo too for 500. This other Ferragamo. What do you guys think about the Ferragamo rebrand? They have a pinko bag. This YSL Cassandra. And they want 23. I have a Burberry scarf, a little Burberry bag. A little Versace moment. Some Prada nylon, 1500. I'm not sure how much they want for that one, but the one in the back. And then a Tory Burch monogram. Some MCM. Moschino and Chloe. I like that little like sharper tilt style. But I don't know. I think the prices are a little too steep. You can definitely get it better. Like I don't know, like a gift card event, like at Socks or Neiman's. You know what I mean? You got a little bit more of that experience than to buy it here. So this mall, I I don't think I've been here. I think I've only been here one time to purchase something. But they even have like a little Swarovski boutique. They have a Sephora. I'm gonna see if they have the rose ink lip balm. Cause that's something that I do wanna, I've been wanting to buy. Let's see if they have it. This took forever to get, like forever. And now we're on to Zara. So they didn't have the lip balm. I have literally not walked through this mall. I think I've only been here like 
one or two times and I really don't even remember. I think I parked by Target. But I mean, it's pretty popping. I didn't know it was gonna be that popular. I thought just the, the gallery it was gonna be popular, but people are loving this little Abercrombie. I'm not a big fan of Abercrombie of their rebrand. This Michael Kors store is huge and have a men's section. They have a whole food court and a toast, which I love toast. Toast, who doesn't love it? And then there's Zara. I think, yeah, I think Zara, I mean, Target's like straight ahead. Here's my outfit. This is very Veronica Beard. It's 89. It's kind of cute. What do you guys think? They have it in white, but I definitely like the blue with the silver. I like these buttons better than these. And I also like this. And I bought a similar top like this last year, actually at this location. I like that it's just in the front, not the entire shirt. It's like more of an updated. How do we feel about this uh, this vest tre uh, trend? I definitely have to only get the top because if I get the bottoms, I think I'm gonna look like a, like a waiter, but this is super cute to wear by itself with like a cute, like chunky necklace. Wearing this shirt when I work at the LTK event. Um, it's here from Zara and they still have it here at Memorial Mall. If you guys still want it, it's 120 and I highly recommend it. And they also have the pink one and they also have like a white crop one. But I got the long sleeve one. Super cute. Cute too. I just, <laughs> um, the shorts are a little bit longer, which I like because they're a little bit more conservative. Because I have so many short shorts, but that's cute. I know that Zara had beauty, but look. And I see you TikTok all these fragrances. I definitely would not put any of this in my face. They have so many fragrances. But the picture's super cute though. But it definitely looks like I'm gonna get a disease just by touching that. I do like this shirt every time I see it. They finally have self-checkout. This is super cute. What do you guys think of it? Very like new new style. What do you guys think? So my totem, the row, Bottega, my mousy jeans, and then the row. Um, this is super cute. What do you guys think? I have a birthday dinner on Friday, so I think that would be kind of cute to wear. This is cute with my mother jeans. What do you guys think? I like to how very boxy it is. This is cute too. This red one, and they have it in blue. Here's the blue one. No, I'm not sure what color. Oh my god, they even have like a L'Occitane. But they're, they're opening a mango, which is kind of cool. We don't have a mango here. But, oh my god, a mango. So that's very, very exciting. They have the opportunity to here. This is so cute. They have the green one. Oh my god, I have not fell in love with the bag. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so cute. This is this furlough bag is so cute. It's like the perfect going out bag. Mini Kelly vibes, but for 278, 288. It's so cute. All my bag style. Two seventy for the classic black one. Jewelry box. Some Dooney wallets. Oh my god, that bag is so cute. And they have some fun, colorful ones here too. I have been wanting to see this bag in person. Oh my god, it's very boxy. 
This looks so cute. That's my favorite one. I'm a big fan of this. It's very boxy and has a thick strap. What is up you guys? It's the next day. I literally, after yesterday, I after I went to the post office, I had, um, I went to the gym and then I went and I had dinner and then I kind of like passed out. I was a little exhausted because I was up all in the morning and so today I decided to do a little get ready with me just so I, um, I don't know, so I can just kind of catch up with you guys. So I really haven't been wearing a lot of foundation. I have been using this unisex healthy glow. Um, so the main objective of the trip from yesterday what well, and I'll leave all the beauty products that I'm using linked down below but the main objective look it looks like blue like Elmer's blue um, was to go and look at some hacks because I do want to do um, I do want to add bags into my list that I want to potentially buy but um, I wanted to do like another alternative video um, you know like Oh, instead of buying, let's say, like that furla bag that I was showing you. So I'll just give you like two examples that I found yesterday that are going to be in a future alternatives video. So the first one is that furla being like a little mini Kelly style handbag. Obviously, it's nowhere near the same, but I I felt like I got the same vibes when I wore it, and I felt really special, and I felt really nice in it. So that's a bag that you know I'm going to to potentially add and well it's going to be added on the video regardless and then another one was like the coach box one like the boxy one that was 500 like the white and the purple one that i tried on i think i only feel myself trying on the purple one um just because the lady that worked at the coach section at dillard um she was like readjusting stuff and i know when i worked on orchard i didn't like people like touching bags and stuff when i was like unlocking them and stuff like that so um there's like a box one uh that i thought was really nice that uh looks like a men's fendi bag that they have they're completely like they're very similar in boxy shape um just because my friend has that one but um that was like another alternative um i don't know it's some, something like seeing them in person to actually give them a nice comparison is something that i like to do and i don't know sometimes i feel like at the galleria they don't really carry a lot of things well they carry everything but um like Willowbrook, I think that's what it's called, right? Or Memorial? Memorial, right? I think Willowbrook is more like, like more what Northwest. Oh, I don't even know where that mall is at. I think they have a North, that's the one that has a North Shamrock in it. But Memorial Mall is like, they have like a little bit of, the body's a little different. And it was packed, honestly, the mall was packed for, for Wednesday. Um, it was really, really packed, but I forgot that it's Memorial Day weekend. It's funny I call it Memorial Mall and it's like Memorial Day weekend. And so I can already assume everything's going to be really packed this weekend. Um, right now, I'm going to um, the Houston Premium Outlet um, to do what's in Fort Memorial weekend. Um, it's about like 10 in the morning, so I'm not super late. I didn't really want to go up when they first open. Or I may go to Katie Mills. Honestly, I really don't know. I'll decide when, I'll decide when I'm in the car. Um... Oh my god. But I love this because this literally turns into to, um, to like my color. It turns a little orange. You also, if you're super pale complected or if you're like more towards like deeper, deeper shades, I would say this will put a little orange because I, I, the reviews say that and my friend is really, really pale. And um, I think you guys have seen him like post, put me posting him on my Instagram. And he, it, it, looked, it looked really orange on him. And so, I really, I wouldn't recommend it. So normally with my face, I just put like all my skincare stuff. And I go in with this, especially like on days when I don't really want to wear foundation. I only really wear foundation during the night. Um, like something like this, like this healthy glow, I'll wear it during the day. Just because I find that it's not like super heavy on my skin. And I don't know, something about me, I don't really like when things are heavy on my skin. And so now it's all padded in and it looks good i don't feel like i really need concealer let me just put a little bit under the eye and like i said i really don't know how to wear makeup this is an hourglass concealer i really really like it a lot um 
I'm gonna be, I'm gonna use the top of this sponge. These sponges are from um, Beauty Bakery, um, which is super cute because it's like in the restroom. It's like a little basket, it's like $20 for like six eggs, and then two, they go by like colors, like two light ones, two like medium ones, like my skin tone, and then like two like, like chocolate colored ones. And they're so cute. They're like twenty dollars for six at Target. I mean, not, well, I think you can buy Beauty Bakery at Target. Um, I think they're. I think you can buy them there, but I bought mine at Ulta, and they're cute because I was kind of tired of spending twenty dollars on a beauty blender, and three dollars and thirty three cents per egg, like little sponge, was a little bit more doable. Because I, I go through my sponges pretty fast. I don't like to. Um, I don't like I don't like to use my beauty blender no more than like just because I feel like it has like it carries bacteria. I think I've talked about that before. I need to get my eyebrows threaded, but I feel like last time they plucked a little too much, and so I'm kind of letting them grow out. I will get a haircut today too, so I'll probably get a haircut before I drive out there because I think like Katie or Cypress is like um, it's a little bit of a drive. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. And then um, I'm gonna grab this brush from Wayne Goss. It's like super old. I've had this since high school with this like rose ink, um, like little blush. And I'm gonna smile. I'm just gonna like twirl that in. Just give me like a like a blush of color. I wasn't using a rare beauty one, but I just didn't feel like putting liquid on something like this with this putty consistency is like really nice because it you have more control over the product and like liquid blush. It's like, it's too noticeable sometimes, and something like this is just like, you get that pop of color, I don't know, you can kind of see it. You get that pop of color, but it's not like, in your face, you know what I mean? Like, it's just there. Like I said, I'm going for that no makeup makeup look. And I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, and be using the Tom Ford bronzer, and this is in 02. I've had this, I think I bought this um, at the Allen Outlets, like, I think about like two, I, I posted a vlog on this, like there's so many videos on my channel, but I posted this, I think one of like the first, the one once I started doing like like a lot of vlogs, I remember I bought a few of these. I think I, I don't know, I don't know what I did to them. I think I gave one to my mom, I kept one for myself, I don't know if I bought two or three, or I gave it to one of my friends. This bronzer is really good, I really really like it. 30, so it's haircut day. Tomorrow I'm like super busy. Well, I'm not really busy. It's one of my friend's birthdays. And so tomorrow I have to go to work for a little bit. And then I have to go to my 9 to 5. And then that's a whole other video. We'll talk about that later on. I'm just now getting back on YouTube. So there's a lot of missing questions that I'll answer as we get back into the YouTube groove. But... I have my literally my 9 to 5. I have to be there at 9 in the morning. And I think I'm going to get off at 4. I don't think I'm going to stay till 5. I think I'm going to like dip at 4. And then pool party to go to. Which is kind of funny because it's like literally like right next door to where I'm at. And I'm going to go to a pool party. And then we're going to a dinner. And then my like the birthday girl got like a section somewhere. Like I said, I don't really go out a lot. Let me rephrase that. I go out, but I go out in different atmospheres. I don't go like super crazy, but the place is called um, El Conejo Malo. I see, I see it all over TikTok, and I think they, they had gone a section there, I believe. I could be wrong somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's Conejo Malo from what I saw from the text message. And then um, I think that's still like two. So I do really want to go swimming because I have not seen my friend in a while. She was at EDC, and so I have not seen her in a while. So I do want to kind of like catch up with her. And so I did want to go, that, another reason why I was going to go to the outlets because I was going to go to the CCO to see if I can find a gift to give her. Um, for Christmas, le regalé una Tom Ford candle. Oh, you can't see it, but I have some. I gave her the bitter peach one and she got it. So let me see if I can find something from um, Tom Ford to gift her. See this little gun? So that's what I'm doing. So I'm working. That's what I was going to get. I usually get my haircuts on Fridays, but uh, I'm like directly going swimming right after work. And then I'm gonna get ready at her place. And then um, we're going to dinner. I'm not sure where dinner is at. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here. And then we're gonna go out. And then I'm gonna come right back home just to do it all over again. And then I do have like, I actually have quite a bit of things to do this weekend. I forgot that it's Memorial weekend. You know, I feel like once you're not in school, I feel like you kind of like, 
um, show to Ray Pillow Talk. I feel like once you're, oh my god, oh my god, the little tip fell. I don't have time to deal with that. Ugh. Yeah, I actually have quite a bit of festivities to do this this weekend. I've been trying to be like lay low and be a little bit more chill. I feel like I'm in my like, I hate to use that word. I feel like I'm in my soft girl era. I feel like I've just been more chill, I'm more relaxed. I'm not like super like hyper. I'm not all over the place as I typically usually I am. I just been kind of like laying low. My Sophia Richie era, as a lot of people like to say. I know you can't really see the makeup, but trust me, it, it looks good in person. I'm in my Sophia Richie era, and I've been more like the Hilo. I feel like I'm like at peace. Like I could go home and like have like a tea, and then like read a book and then go to sleep. This makeup bag, I still have it. I love it so much. But yeah, that's like the completed look. Um, I don't know if I showed it what's in my bag from my bag yesterday, but um, this is my Bottega Veneta Jody. Just in case if I didn't show you guys, just so you guys can see. Um, this is a Senrev wallet. I've been using it a lot. Isn't it so cute? It's like lined in this like suede material. I don't know what it is. I don't know. People have just been giving me their business cards like nobody else's business. Um, and I love this just because I can see like nothing goes missing. And so it's cute. And then I have a Chanel um, lip balm that I've had like for years. Like I said, I'm trying to rewear makeup again. And so... I've been using things. I have a Be Tech hand cream. I have some Tic Tacs. So you just saw me pull out a pin. And La Tulip from Byredo. And then I have a penny in here. And then I have my um, keys over there. And my sunglasses. But I really don't carry a whole lot. Especially during the day. Especially once I have my phone. The only thing I could put, put in here more is like my portable charger. But yeah. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching this little shopping vlog with me and a little catch up with me um it's been a slow comeback on youtube i know i was honestly really gone for like i want to say the last 18 months like i feel like i was very 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 inconsistent within the last 18 months but i think i'm finally i use my little good tea candles um to put like stuff up so i can just feel a little bit more elevated um but i feel like i was very absent for the last 18 months um you know i would post maybe like a video or two likes a video a week and then i wouldn't but I have, oh, here they are. They're actually, they're in like this little tray. These are the eggs. Aren't they so cute? You know, you open them up. Son unos huevitos. And see, so you have the sponges. Um, I thought they were in my restroom. Um, but yeah, I was like very inconsistently. I mean, we'll, we'll get to those conversations when we get there. Um, but right now we're kind of going soft just because I essentially have to rebuild up my channel again. I mean, somewhat. But as I'm posting more, the views are getting a little bit better. So, guys, I said the old, and I've been posting more on TikTok and stuff, and I've been more active, and everything is just falling into place where it, I'm just picking up where I left off. And so, I know probably up to like June 1st, everything's gonna be kind of meh. But once I feel like I'm like on week three and week four, I feel like the views and the scheduling will be like back to normal. But I am planning to post Monday through Friday uh, videos. For like the next two to three weeks um and then i think i'll go to monday wednesday friday and then i'll be very consistent because that'll be a little bit more doable for me but i do kind of want to go back posting a lot of videos so you guys can kind of see me back in the algorithm and then i'll kind of like slowly be like monday wednesday friday with the occasional like bonus saturday video i think that's going to be like the most perfect schedule for me. but i want to say thank you so much i love and appreciate each and every single one of you and let me know what you guys think of the shopping haul um or the shopping vlog did you guys like anything that i showed um definitely that for the bag i will go back tomorrow to zara to pick up the red shirt um, so I can wear it tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna wear it with my my red La Medusa back from Versace and with my red Alexander McQueen's. And then I have this pair of um, Kate trousers that I'm gonna wear with it. And then with my Lana jewelry. And I think I'm all set. I think that's like a really cute outfit. You'll pro I'll probably end up vlogging this weekend too. And yeah, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links for everything linked down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Love and appreciate you guys. Adios. Ciao.